something new from Wendy's. What is it? Wendy's new taco salad. Looks like a whole meal. Dinner with Hamburger Helper is one of my specialties. Nice to have you and Hamburger Helper in the kitchen. The 70s were a time of culinary experimentation, where food trends were as wild as fashion choices. The decade had everything from Harvey Wallbanger cake to the iconic Watergate salad. But somewhere along the way, some of our favorite bites got lost in the shuffle, leaving a void that today's kale smoothies can only partially fill, whether you were there to experience it firsthand or just curious about the flavors that define the disco decade. So join us as we uncover 20 forgotten foods from the 1970s we want back. Hi, I'm Doc Hopper. Inviting you to hop on down and get some Hopper's French fried frog legs. Number one, frog legs. Frog legs, a fancy food in the 1970s, were a unique dish enjoyed in French and southern U.S. kitchens. These slender amphibian limbs were treated delicately, commonly cooked by frying or sautéing. After cleaning, the frog legs were seasoned and coated in batter before taking a sizzling dip in hot oil. Frog legs were all the rage at dinner parties in upscale restaurants. Surprisingly, they were affordable, costing around $1 to $2 per pound, making them an accessible luxury for many. However, as taste evolved and environmental concerns grew, the popularity of frog legs declined. Conservation efforts and changing perceptions led to a decline in their consumption. Today, while still available in some places, they are less widespread on menus. The once trendy frog legs have hopped off the mainstream culinary scene, but they remain a quirky chapter in the culinary history of the 1970s. As we bid farewell to this fancy food, let's uncover another gem from the past that deserves a culinary comeback. It's called the Watergate salad. Turns out the salad isn't new at all. Number two, Watergate salad. Watergate salad, a sweet and creamy dessert, gained popularity in the 1970s with a whimsical name tied to the political scandal of the time. This playful dish typically featured a canned crushed pineapple, pistachio pudding mix, mini marshmallows, and whipped topping, creating a light and fluffy texture with a hint of green color. During the 1970s, Watergate salad became a staple at potlucks and family gatherings. Making it at home was easy and budget-friendly, as the ingredients were readily available and affordable. The cost of store-bought Watergate salad varied, but it generally fell within the range of three to five dollars. Despite its origins in a specific historical moment, Watergate salad has endured as a beloved and nostalgic treat. Its sweet and tangy flavor and vibrant green appearance make it a whimsical and iconic dessert that continues to grace tables on special occasions, keeping the spirit of the 1970s alive and culinary traditions. For the prawn cocktail, remember, to make the sauce, add mayonnaise, ketchup, cayenne pepper, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Number three, shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail, a groovy 1970s appetizer, rocked dinner parties with its cool vibes. It was a breeze. Just boil those tiny crustaceans until they blush pink and serve them chilled. The star was the zesty cocktail sauce, blending ketchup, horseradish, and lemon juice for a flavor explosion. In the 70s, this fancy dish didn't break the bank, costing around $1.50 per serving, a bargain for a taste of sophistication. However, new culinary trends stole the spotlight as time passed, pushing shrimp cocktail to the sidelines. The 1980s and 1990s ushered in Nouvelle Cuisine and fusion dishes, leaving this classic in the shadows. While it may not headline today's menus, shrimp cocktail hasn't vanished. Some retro diners and nostalgic events still feature it, reminding us of the glamorous days when shrimp ruled the appetizer scene. Leaving behind the world of shrimp cocktails, let's venture into pineapple chicken, a revolutionary convenience in 1970s dining. Get ready to satisfy those sweet and savory cravings with this sticky pineapple chicken. Number four, pineapple chicken. In the 1970s, pineapple chicken was a dish that tickled taste buds with its fusion of sweet and sour flavors. Picture this, tender chicken chunks waltzing with pineapple and bell peppers in a sauce that was both tangy and sweet. To whip it up, chefs back then typically sauteed chicken in a pan and added pineapple chunks, 
bell peppers, and a concoction of sauces for that zesty kick. Now let's talk price. In the 70s, you could grab a plate of pineapple chicken for around two to three dollars. It was a budget-friendly delight that satisfied cravings without emptying wallets. As time passed, the 1970s fair took a back seat to newer culinary trends. However, pineapple chicken didn't disappear entirely. It transformed, finding a cozy spot in the archives of retro recipes and nostalgic menus. You might stumble upon it in some restaurants today, reinvented with a modern twist. So while it might not be stealing the spotlight, pineapple chicken is still quietly sizzling, offering a taste of the funky flavors that defined an era. That last egg's looking real good. You had quite a few though, maybe you shouldn't. Number five, deviled eggs. Deviled eggs, a cherished appetizer, gained prominence in the 1970s. This simple yet delightful dish involves hard-boiled eggs halved and filled with a creamy mixture made from the yolks. The filling typically includes mayonnaise, mustard, and spices, offering a zesty and flavorful contrast to the egg whites. During the 1970s, deviled eggs were a cost-effective and popular gathering choice. The ingredients, such as eggs, mayonnaise, and mustard, were readily available and budget-friendly. Making a batch at home or ordering them at a restaurant was affordable, with prices ranging from $1 to $3. Deviled eggs have stood the test of time and remain a classic appetizer today. They continue to be a crowd pleaser at parties, potlucks, and family gatherings, showcasing the enduring appeal of this simple yet delicious dish from the 1970s. Number six, Tab Cola. Tab Cola, introduced in the 1970s, was a pioneering diet soda, popular among folks aiming to trim down on sugar intake. Its distinct appeal lies in being one of the early options in the diet soda realm. Crafted using artificial sweeteners, it offered a sugar-free alternative without compromising the fizzy delight. The main ingredients included carbonated water, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, and artificial sweeteners like saccharin. In the 70s, Tab Cola was relatively affordable, costing about 10 cents for a can, making it an accessible choice for many soda enthusiasts. However, as dietary trends evolved and new competitors entered the scene, Tab faced a decline in popularity. Regrettably, Tab Cola is no longer widely available today, the soda market shifted towards newer, diverse options, and in 2020, the Coca-Cola company announced the discontinuation of Tab, marking the end of an era for this iconic 70s drink. While Tab Cola takes us down memory lane, there's a quirky dessert companion we can't ignore. Number seven, Harvey Wallbanger Cake. In the 70s, Harvey Wallbanger Cake rocked taste buds. Imagine a cake with the vibes of a Harvey Wallbanger cocktail. The recipe jazzed up the batter with Galliano liqueur, bringing a sweet herbal twist and a splash of orange juice for a citrusy kick. People loved the fusion of flavors at parties and gatherings. Back then, baking this cool cake was like creating a culinary masterpiece. It wasn't just about mixing flour and sugar. It was a dance of ingredients, combining the zing of Galliano and the zest of orange juice. In the 1970s, the cost of making Harvey Wallbanger cake was reasonable thanks to the availability of ingredients. This far out cake was an affordable delight back then, costing about $1.50 to $2 per box mix. As time passed, culinary trends shifted and the Harvey Wallbanger cake took a back seat. While it might not be in the limelight today, some nostalgic bakers still whip it up for a retro flavor blast. It's a sweet memory of the past occasionally making a comeback at theme parties or for those who crave a taste of the past. Today, I'm gonna to be making one of my favorite appetizers, Asian rumaki. Number eight, rumaki. Rumaki, a savory delight from the 1970s, blended sweet and salty flavors in a bite-sized treat. This appetizer typically consisted of water chestnuts and chicken livers wrapped in bacon, skewered, and then baked or broiled to perfection. 
The combination of the crispy bacon, tender chicken liver, and crunchy water chestnut created a unique and flavorful experience. During the 1970s, rumaki became a trendy hors d'oeuvre served at parties and gatherings. Making rumaki at home was cost effective with relatively affordable ingredients like bacon, chicken livers, and water chestnuts. The cost of rumaki at restaurants varied, but it generally fell within the range of two to four dollars, aligning with the pricing norms of the time. While the popularity of specific appetizers has evolved, rumaki remains a nostalgic favorite for those who fondly remember its distinctive taste. Papa Giuseppe Quiche Lorraine or Quiche Florentine serve hot or cold for all the flavor of real home-baked quiche. Number nine, Quiche Lorraine. Quiche Lorraine, an elegant dish that became a sensation in 1970s dinner parties, exuded sophistication with a French flair. This savory pie featured a rich and creamy filling made with eggs, cream, cheese, and crispy bacon or ham, all nestled in a buttery pie crust. The name Quiche Lorraine itself added a touch of mystery and refinement to the culinary scene. During the 1970s, Quiche Lorraine was embraced as a trendy choice for hosting dinner parties. Creating it at home was a culinary achievement, showcasing the host cooking prowess. The cost of making quiche Lorraine varied depending on the quality of ingredients, but it generally fell within the range of three to five dollars, aligning with the cost of gourmet items during that era. As the years passed, quiche Lorraine experienced a decline in popularity, giving way to new food trends. However, it has yet to disappear entirely. Despite not being as ubiquitous as it once was, Quiche Lorraine can still be found on some menus today, often in nostalgic or retro-themed restaurants. Moving away from Quiche Lorraine, let's switch gears and explore the next must-have food item lost in time. Georgette, you want some more bread for the fondue? No thanks, Mary. I've lost enough. Number 10. Fondue Bourguignon Fondue Bourguignon, a culinary delight from the 1970s, brought a communal and interactive dining experience to the table. This dish involved cooking bite-sized pieces of meat, typically beef, in hot oil. The meats were often accompanied by an array of dipping sauces, allowing diners to customize flavors to their liking. In the 1970s, fondue bourguignon captured the spirit of social gatherings and dinner parties. The setup included a fondue pot filled with hot oil, creating a fun and engaging atmosphere as everyone dipped and cooked their meat. The cost of preparing fondue bourguignon at home depended on the quality of the meat and sauces, but it was generally affordable, aligning with the economic landscape of the time. What happened to this food, you ask? Well, it didn't completely vanish. While it may not steal the spotlight like in the disco era, you can still find fondue bourguignon in nostalgic nooks or specialty restaurants. Some foodie adventurers even bring it back for theme parties sparking a mini resurgence of this flavorful journey through time. Oh, hi, honey. Bring home a steak? Well, how about a pound of hamburger? You can get tired of hamburger, but you never get tired of Hamburger Helper. Number 11, Hamburger Helper. Hamburger Helper, a 1970s gem, was a kitchen superhero for busy folks. It was created to rescue home cooks, especially busy moms dealing with not so much meat. The magic happened in the simplicity just add the helper mix to ground beef and pasta, and poof, dinner is served. Ingredients were basic, pasta, seasoning, and a packet of flavor excitement. It brought flavors like cheeseburger, beef stroganoff, and chili mac to kitchens, turning the ordinary into a tasty adventure. Affordability was its charm. In the 1970s, a box of hamburger helper cost around 50 cents, making it a budget-friendly meal option. Families loved it for being easy on the pocket and time. As time passed, Hamburger Helper stayed in the limelight, evolving with new flavors. While not as flashy today, it's still found on grocery shelves. If you're still craving a trip down memory lane with the flavors of the 70s, our next stop will satisfy your nostalgic taste buds. Number 12, Cheese Balls. Cheese Balls, a 1970s party favorite, were bite-sized delights that brought a burst of cheesy goodness to social gatherings. These snacks typically featured cream cheese, grated cheddar, and various seasonings rolled into balls and coated with chopped nuts or herbs. 
The result was a flavorful and textured treat. During the 1970s, cheese balls became synonymous with festive occasions and potluck gatherings. Making them at home was simple and cost-effective, with budget-friendly ingredients like cream cheese, cheddar, and nuts. The cost of store-bought cheese balls varied, but they were generally an affordable party snack, often priced between $2 and $5. While culinary trends have evolved, cheese balls remained a cherished retro appetizer, occasionally appearing at gatherings as a nostalgic nod to the past. So keep your eyes peeled, you might just roll into a cheese ball reunion. Number 13, Carrot Cake. In the vibrant 1970s, carrot cake was all the rage. People couldn't resist its groovy, moist goodness combo and creamy cheese frosting. It was like a party in your mouth, and folks even thought it was somewhat healthy, a cake that tricks you into feeling good about your choices. Making this hip dessert was a breeze. You mix grated carrots into the batter, giving it an orange color. Then the cream cheese frosting was the star on top, sweet, tangy, and oh so smooth. As for the cost, it didn't break the bank. Back then, you could snag a slice for about 50 cents, which was an excellent deal. Really, really good carrot cake recipe. Give it a try, and as always, thanks for tubing in. But as time marched on, carrot cake took a bit of a backstage. Newer desserts stole the spotlight, and taste evolved. Number 14, Beef Stroganoff. Beef Stroganoff, a comforting and hearty dish, found its place in many 1970s kitchens. This classic recipe typically featured thinly sliced beef strips cooked in a creamy mushroom and sour cream sauce served over egg noodles or rice. You fall for new hamburger helper stroganoff too. It starts with your hamburger, then adds egg noodles, creamy sauce, and a special final step. In the 1970s, beef stroganoff became famous for family dinners and entertaining guests. Making it at home was relatively affordable, utilizing simple ingredients like beef, mushrooms, and sour cream. The cost of store-bought beef stroganoff mix or ready-to-eat versions varied, but they were generally priced between $3 and $6. Today, beef stroganoff has stood the test of time, remaining a beloved comfort food. It's a versatile dish adapted in various ways and continues to grace dinner tables, embodying the hearty and flavorful essence of 1970s cuisine. What other culinary gems from the 1970s should make a comeback? Well, stick around as we delve into more forgotten delights. Number 15, Ambrosia Salad. Ambrosia Salad, a delightful treat that continued its popularity from the 1960s into the 1970s, was a sweet concoction made with canned fruit, coconut, marshmallows, and whipped cream. Families often prepared it for special occasions and potlucks. The ingredients were simple and affordable, with canned fruits, shredded coconut, and marshmallows being everyday pantry items. In the 1970s, making ambrosia salad was cheap, typically priced between $3 to $7. It became a cherished dish at gatherings due to its easy preparation and sweet taste. Ambrosia salad faded from the culinary spotlight as time passed, perhaps overshadowed by evolving food trends. While not as ubiquitous today, some families may still include this forgotten gem in their recipe repertoire, bringing a taste to the past to the present. Behind a great eggs benedict is in the hollandaise. So get your pan on, because I'm going to cook our hollandaise over a rolling boil with a glass bowl. Number 16, eggs benedict. Eggs benedict, a brunch sensation from the 1970s, became a favorite morning treat. To craft this dish, cooks toasted English muffins, layered them with ham or bacon, and added perfectly poached eggs, as well as smothering them in rich hollandaise sauce. These ingredients blended into a delightful combination that captured the essence of leisurely breakfast. During the 1970s, the cost of Eggs Benedict varied, but it was generally considered a special treat due to the premium ingredients. Prices typically range from $2 to $3 at restaurants, reflecting the relative affordability of the time. Over the years, Eggs Benedict has endured as a classic brunch dish, maintaining its popularity in various forms. Today, you can still find it on menus worldwide, with chefs adding creative twists to the traditional recipe. 
Moving from the brunch sensation of Eggs Benedict, let's turn the spotlight to the revival of Taco Salad, a timeless appetizer from the 70s. This is something new from Wendy's. What is it? Wendy's new taco salad. Looks like a whole meal. Number 17, taco salad. In the 1970s, the taco salad emerged as a tasty reflection of the increasing fascination with Mexican flavors. Crafting this dish involved a simple yet flavorful combination. Seasoned ground beef, crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, shredded cheese, and crunchy tortilla chips. What made it extra special was its presentation, often served in a crispy fried tortilla bowl, adding a delightful texture to each bite. During the 1970s, the cost of taco salad ingredients was relatively affordable, making it a popular choice for families and gatherings. The price varied, but it generally fell within the range of two to four dollars, aligning with the economic landscape of the time. Taco salad has become a timeless classic, evolving with diverse variations and maintaining popularity. Number 18, Zucchini Bread. Zucchini bread, a standout in the 1970s health food movement, turned the humble zucchini into a sweet delight. This wholesome bread featured grated zucchini as the main ingredient, creating a moist and flavorful treat. Nuts or chocolate chips were frequently added to the mix to enhance its taste and texture. During the 1970s, zucchini bread gained popularity as a nutritious alternative to traditional desserts. Making it at home was cost-effective with relatively affordable ingredients like zucchini, flour, sugar, and nuts. Prices for a loaf of zucchini bread typically ranged from $1 to $2. Today, zucchini bread remains a beloved and enduring part of the culinary landscape. It has stood the test of time and is a popular homemade treat. Wait till she tries the Sun Valley Chicken Kiev. Always fresh, never frozen, and no artificial additives. Number 19, Chicken Kiev. Chicken Kiev, a culinary gem from the 1970s, perfectly blended convenience with gourmet flavors. This dish featured chicken breast, delicately breaded and fried to a golden crisp, revealing a hidden treasure inside, a luscious filling of garlic butter. The crunchy exterior and the burst of savory butter made it a delightful and indulgent treat. During the 1970s, Chicken Kiev showcased the era's inclination towards convenient and sophisticated dining. While it was often considered a fancy dish, making it at home with simple ingredients like chicken, butter and breadcrumbs was relatively affordable. The cost for Chicken Kiev at restaurants typically range from three to five dollars. While the popularity of specific dishes may ebb and flow, Chicken Kiev has maintained its place in culinary history, occasionally resurging as a nostalgic favorite. Its enduring appeal speaks to its unique blend of accessible ingredients and gourmet flair that captured the essence of 1970s dining trends. Are you hungry for more throwback treats from the past? Prepare as we dish out another delicious relic from the 1970s food scene. Number 20, Swedish Meatballs. Swedish Meatballs, once confined to Ikea's menu, gained fame beyond the furniture store becoming famous for parties or dinners during the 1970s. These meatballs, typically made from a mix of ground meats like beef and pork, were seasoned with spices and served in a creamy sauce. During the 1970s, Swedish meatballs were a budget-friendly option with reasonably low cost ingredients like ground meat and spices. At the time, prices for serving Swedish meatballs at restaurants or home preparation ranged from two to four dollars. Today, Swedish meatballs have transcended their humble beginnings, becoming a staple in many households. They are crowd pleasers, often served with lesionberry jam to complement the savory flavors.